guy died last year after swallowing lots of water. Attention, these swimmers in front. She's swimming in a very dangerous area. Please get out of the water. You must walk up the beach and swim between the red and yellow flags. Down south, lifeguards patrol four strong rips. Yeah, they should be OK. Up north, the situation appears safer. But not for long. Kerbox spots a swimmer waiting for help. Yeah, you're going to have to go pretty quick, fellas. You get out there quick, boys. Harry's races out with Dino close behind. The swimmer is actually directing lifeguards to his friend. The man is desperate, barely keeping his head above water. It's going under, right? Chest down, chest down on the board. Chest down low. That's it, good boy. Chest down low. Very good, man. Oh, thank you. Are you all right? That's all right, mate. Do you know what's that whole thing unfold right in front of us? But, uh, yeah, that was a close one. Jason is Korean and studying English in Australia. It's one of his first visits to Bondi. You have a bit of a rest for a bit. I drink for a while. You drink the water. You feel it? Head ice? Uh, oh, thank you. Well, we have to get, I think it's a, bit a good idea to get you checked up. He's taken in a lot of water. Lifeguards are concerned about his condition. What happens, Harry's probably told you, if you swallow water, uh, you can get an infection in your lungs and you can get very sick. Uh, and actually, one guy died last year after uh, swallowing lots of water. <laughs> Dino's reassuring words don't seem to have helped. Ambulance, please. Thank you. Sir, did I find you? Yeah. We, we have someone up here, someone up here watching the water. I was so afraid. Of... You're frightened. Yeah, yeah, this is really the first time I ever experienced. Ever uh, experienced, yeah. Harry's That's attaches okay. a blood monitor. Yeah, a healthy do. oxygen saturation level is 97% and above. So it's saying he's 91. 91% is cause so for concern. Low. So it's really good that we brought you up here for a, for a further checkup. So An oxygen mask oxygen will help get it back to normal. So ambulance coming? Yeah, ambulance coming. Jason's getting more Salt. oxygen in, but Salt. he still needs to get water out. That's <laughs> You can drown with as little as one teaspoon of salt water in the lungs. Your body has to balance that out, the salt water out, and it'll draw more water into the lungs, and that's why you actually drown. Paramedics back up. There's nothing but the physical, yeah, I'm okay. Everything's fine. Okay. Yeah, there's no water in your lungs. Mm -hmm. your blood pressure's back to normal already. Uh -huh. And we take you off the oxygen, your saturation of oxygen, the amount of oxygen in your blood is normal. Mm. You basically swallowed a lot of water and had a bit of a vomit and spat it out again, so... I'm alive now. I'm breathing in the fresh air outside. I was so lucky the safeguard could see and run into me, and so I thought I'm, I'm safe. I'm safe right now. Jason's safe, but there's no rest for the lifeguards. More swimmers are struggling in a rip. The yeah, Bondi Central ATV. Hey, Dino, he's back up third ramp. Get down there. With three women in trouble, Hoppo's needed in the water. Uh, these holes are just giving us all kinds of hell. The first woman indicates her two friends are more urgent. Oh, she's face down, that chick. Hoppo pulls one girl to safety. Dino spots the third girl making a last-ditch effort to signal for help. The swell makes the rescue difficult. <laughs> Dino's raised arm signals it's a serious case. He needs backup on the beach. Yeah, time to get down there. Take the dude. Hey, Flake, do fit with that, mate. Yeah, Rob, you Dino again signals the tower. Yeah, Dino just uh, giving the sign. Means you need all assistance. He's uh, pulled someone out. I think they'll just face down. Dino's patient has come around. 
but lifeguards know she needs close attention. Less than a minute ago, the woman was face down in the water. Lifeguards don't know how much water the woman has swallowed or how long she's been without oxygen. Teresa is from Eastern Europe. She's been living in Bondi for two months. Teresa. Teresa. Hey, how are you? That's better. She's regained enough strength to laugh at Blake hey. getting her name wrong, but she's not out of danger. Blake must keep testing her level of consciousness. Do you know where you are? The beach? What beach? Bondi. Where are you from? Really? That's a long way to Bondi. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Smiles, that's what we like to see. She's smiling. She's just face down. As paramedics arrive, like Teresa is showing signs of hypoxia due to her poor levels of oxygen. You think maybe you lost consciousness for a little bit? Yeah, OK. It sounds like the lifesavers had to wake you up. The first girl goes, go to the girl out the back. So I went to her as fast as I could and she was floating unconscious. And I sort of give the sign, you know, that we've got to let all the boys know. And she was so light, I just pulled her on the board and I sort of whacked her and she woke up. Yeah, she still looks really pale. She's struggling to keep her head up. She couldn't communicate with us, uh, but she's breathing and she's conscious, you know, and she's in good hands. We're just going to hold on to your seat, Anchor. Yeah, go. I guess the scariest part is running down with the deep, even knowing, like, every time you run, you're running with it because you think it's going to get used kind of thing. So she kind of laps in and out a few times. And every time we wake her up, she'd come back with these big, broad smiles on her face. It's it such a cool feeling to see, but that's got to be the closest, closest thing to a drowning I've ever seen. Teresa is lucky to be alive. She'll be examined in hospital to determine if there's water in her lungs.